Welcome to Friday Night Mike's bonus episode with our very special guest, Eddie Pineda, and One Last Take Productions. This is a very fun interview where we talk about the importance of music and films, guerrilla-style filmmaking, so off a few cop stories. Please check us out on Facebook.com with Friday Night Mike's. Follow us on Instagram. Hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. And now that that's all finished, let's get it on with our very special super bonus episode with One Last Take Productions. Hey, welcome to Friday Night Mike's. Today on the podcast I have, what's it called? Uh, one Last Take Productions. Shit, can we do that again? <laughs> Today on the podcast we have One Last Take Productions. I'm here with Eddie Pineda, Renee, and Danny, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, good to have you guys in. You guys are our first uh, filmmaker in the in the studio, and I'm really actually excited because I saw both of your films. I saw the short one, the 10-minute 10, 10 one, yep. and I saw the 50-minute one. Actually, that's what I was going to compliment you guys on, was that um, on your your film, uh, This Must Be the Place, mm -hmm. I really appreciate a lot of the song selection uh, in there, um, despite copyright laws and all that <laughs> yeah, nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> You know, I really enjoyed it. Like, I mean, you had like the Smiths in there, Led Zeppelin. Uh, you had a, you had a few really cool bands. Uh, that's just Tijuana how, Panthers in there was yeah, there too. Yeah, Tijuana Panthers. But that's just how it is. Like, you know, like music really plays an important key. And when it comes to the movies, you can't just have like the best scenes and the best actors. You know, music tells a story also. So like, like out there, you know, that movie didn't come together until we had the music in there. And like the entire time, like I'll tell Danny and Renee, this movie sucks. I hate this movie. Really? I don't even want my name on it. But when, like, the last week before we premiered it, we did the music. Within, like, two days before we premiered it online, me and Danny finally got the music right. And the movie was just like, oh, my God. We like, were in my hot-ass room. Yeah, for, like, sweating, hours. Just you know, hours just making music. and like, Just, like, okay, is this going to be right? Ding, dong, no. You know, I think in, in a lot of movies, actually, most movies, you have to have the right music. Because, I, I mean, a lot of times it's just, like, tone, tonal mm -hmm. things. But it, you know, it, it, it does sets, set the mood. Yeah, and and that's one of the things I definitely noticed about that. And it's one of the things I really appreciated about that movie. Because it was kind of creepy. Yeah. It was, yeah. A, it was, it was a creepy idea. <laughs> and it was cool. Um, but, with honestly, if it was just quiet or if you had, like, some, like, uh, you know, Justin Bieber movie, playing, yeah. it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, it wouldn't be scary, like, going to his grandma's room and then, like, bam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, but yeah, if you had, that was music. Do play an important part. Julian, hey, it's Albert. Answer your phone, man. I know you're there. Listen, I know I haven't been the best of friends lately, and I do regret what happened between us. I just hope that one day, maybe we can move past this. Maybe we can talk things out. Way. I'll talk to you later. That, that's what actually got us through high school, you know. All we used to do is sit in the back of the class, write a movie, and then make fun of our teachers the entire yeah. time. Were you the class clown? Yeah, multiple occasions. <laughs> multiple occasions. <laughs> right. Actually, one time uh, we were having a balloon fight at the school when they drew a big phallic object on my back and I walked around without my shirt on like that's right check me out and my teachers were like you're setting a good example for the other kids yeah there you go you another a bright time, future Renee you got yeah, a bright future another time we actually had a, a school dance and I was a junior at the time and there was all these seniors there uh -huh. and uh, they were like hey Renee uh, we understand you're a little chunky, but can you throw on these pink booty shorts and jump out behind the DJ booth and like you know oh junior prank everyone next year I'm a graduate yeah and so I was like let's do this put on some boots and I had um, I had more hair at the time. You had a luchador mask too. We put on a luchador mask so we yes. could hide his face. What, what color luchador were mask? the shorts? Pink. Pink. They yeah. were hot pink. They had to be pink. And they had little pockets on them too. I'm like, who holds pockets? <laughs> <laughs> this implies you're gonna be busy during the day wearing these. <laughs> it was pretty intense, to be honest with you. Um, I jumped out behind the DJ booth. I was like, oh, surprise, because they're like, oh, we have a surprise for you guys. Obviously, it was me. Jumped out and uh, actually got dead quiet. Did you twerk? Uh, I tried to. <laughs> I, I actually jumped out, and this girl was like, "Look at his balls!" <laughs> was like my balls are hanging out. And I, yeah, this like, the, I don't remember this. The first thing that came to mind: "Look at his balls!" Like, uh, yeah, look at him. Get a good look. Get an eyeful. Do you have to tuck them to one side? You know, to be honest with you, because they were so small, I actually tucked it up. Everything was like in a package. My wiener was in my balls, like a, a safe shell. I just came here to talk. I really don't feel like talking, and especially not to you. Okay. Would you like an apology or not? How will that help? So we could end this nonsense. I think we're past the point of apologies. Can you leave now? I have to take care of my grandma. 
Hey, by the way, how was your grandma? Hey. I can't say hi? No, she's not feeling good right now. You can't say hi. You should just leave. When like, you guys were filming, did you guys ever have any issues with like police? Oh, you can't film here. You mm -hmm. can't film here. No, not yeah. really. Even though, like, I, I believe in the whole guerrilla style filmmaking. Just set up and shoot. Just right, go right, do right. It. Like, if you're gonna shoot at a restaurant, order something so you look like a customer, and then yeah, I have my camera out and I'm filming. Mm -hmm. um, back in high school, there was a movie we're doing. We were doing this movie called 911 Badass, and you know, it was our, my first attempt as a comedy. And um, we were ironically playing cops. We had water guns, and some lady called the cops. So like cops, and like did the whole like you know their whole routine where they came and like saw kids like playing around with guns, and they came out and they showed us their guns. Like this is this is a real thing. You have a toy. Someone's gonna misinterpret that and shoot you. Blah blah blah. Ever since then, that's sort of like you know like I don't want to deal with the cops ever again. So that's just my style of filmmaking since then. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you guys just point and shoot kind of thing. Yeah. Like, do it. Get it done as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And maybe not only for time constraints, but just for like, uh, just so you don't you avoid trouble, that trouble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I remember when I got, I got pulled over one time. I was sixteen. I was pulling out of my friend's driveway, and I was going down the street. I, and he, I was stopped at a stop site, a uh, stop sign. And then I, I made the, I left, right, left. I did the whole thing. I was sixteen. You know, I, I was on, I was on point with my driving. I wasn't as comfortable, so I was on point. And um, I get pulled over by a cop, and he's like, he's like, he makes me get out of the car. He searches my whole thing. He starts fucking touches my balls like and does the whole deal and i get out of the car and i'm like fuck Might have been man like in sits more. me on the corner i'm like 16 years old I, go, <laughs> I went to a private christian school i was like a fucking i was an upstanding citizen yeah like, exactly yeah and they still he still had the need to like fondle my little nut sack and you know you know it's interesting that you mention that because a lot of times in academy there's complaints by the younger cadets that the older getting fond of yeah like the older officers the hazing just doesn't seem right yeah it, and i'm not even playing around like this happens like you know in the police academy and it's pretty strange too it's it, like you know how do you know all this yeah were you we in the police, police academy. academy oh yeah i actually was i was the one doing it all <laughs> no to be honest with you there's an internal there's an internal investigation and it was so trippy because like you know we sometimes you know like you know as danny mentioned some people believe that police are you know uh pillars I, of the community they're bastions. Oh no! Of, I mean, that's what they, that's what they should be. Well, that's that's what they should be. But unfortunately, they aren't. And it's just so like you know ironic. It's like you know, it's like putting all your faith in something and it just fails you. Mm -hmm. And that's why you should always trust firemen. <laughs> yeah. Plus, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Plus, they look better on calendars. Yeah, cool. firemen are fucking firemen awesome. Are they cool. save but you from fucking. They don't fires. harass you. You know, I'm such a pussy. <laughs> I, like if a cop came to me I'd be like oh shit I'm fucked I wouldn't run I'd just be like oh no no I, I know <laughs> how you feel like I remember one time just chilling in the park I was sober I was minding my own business was not doing anything it was like probably 7 o'clock at night I was waiting for my friend and like all of a sudden you know this cop car just pulls into the park and they shine their lights and you know these lights are like Right. Heaven's lights just ple how what the hell is going on? And then you I just hear come over here. I'm like, come over to what? All I see is light. I can't even see shit. And then like, okay, I, I just walk to it. They turn off the lights finally, and they're all like, You see any kids messing around here? Like, I don't even know, dude. I didn't see anything. Just, you tell me. Yeah. Julian. Why is Lucy barking? I don't know. I'll check on her. What's wrong with my baby? Lucy, get over here. Come on. Get over here. Get up. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. Alright, so we're coming up to a close here. Um, why don't you guys plug your next film, or when, where can people see you? Where can people uh, check out your movies? Uh, I know you have the two films. Why don't you guys plug those? Okay, well, our, uh, the first one we're about to start right now, that one's called Carried Away. Yes. Um, it's a love story. Um, it's actually a new face. You're not going to see any familiar... Um, any one of us or one of these the normal people that are going to star in this movie so Thank it's God. all new faces um and then we got the next one which is our comedy movie that's the virgin gary so the virgin gary by, like i said it's a pun off the virgin mary so uh, get you those are our two movies we're working on right now cool yeah when when you guys think it'll be out well carried away that's a short movie that's going to be like the script is like 20 pages long so ideally it's probably like 15 minutes and um we start sometime this week 
So it's just a matter of time when we get it done. And then um, the next one's going to be a bigger, longer, longer movie. So we wanted to like devote all our attention to that movie. So that's why I feel like I need to produce this short film first. Well, I'm excited, man. Uh, once you get them, I mean, just... Promote them on Friday at Mice, and we'll we'll do the same, man. Yeah, we'll do the same, also. You know. Yeah, man. It's always good to get uh, together with with a uh, f- fellow DIYs. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah, you know, this is actually really cool. Like, I really dig it. You know, it's fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, man. Well, we're glad to have it. you guys on the podcast. Thanks. Hey, maybe you could like have a cameo in one of our films. Oh yeah, that'd be super Dude, cool. I'd Dude. love to, man. Dude. Uh, the pizza guy or something, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll totally be a pizza guy. I know exactly how to eat pizza. <laughs> there <laughs> you, you go. Know, no acting at all. No yeah. acting at all, right there. Just- so uh, Friday Night Mics, check us out on facebookcom slash Friday Night Mics. Also check out our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Other than that, thank you guys very much, and I'm glad to have you guys on. Hope to see you guys' film soon, and uh, check out what's uh, one last take productions. One last take. Yes. Check out. Uh, this this must be the place. This must be the place and out there. And out place. there. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're those are both on YouTube, right? Yes, they're all on YouTube and Vimeo. YouTube and Vimeo. So get it on there. Watch those movies and then uh, send us a like on our page and send us a like on their page. All right. Friday mics. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.